Hey everyone. So I've got this uh, Anytone uh, AT6666 radio and I was getting ready to swap the transistors around on it and uh, attach my thermocouples to, uh, to do a uh, test on these uh, AM regulators, see how they performed in this radio. And I saw something in the manual that was interesting and that is this um, frequency tolerance of 5 ppm, plus or minus 5 ppm. So I was curious, well, does it really stay with the, within the uh, plus or minus 5 ppm specification? So this radio, I set it to 28 megahertz, um, let it run for an hour, uh, and started graphing the data out. But how many hertz, of course, deviation is 5 ppm. So we will do some math, and we will put in 28 megahertz, and we will times that by our parts per million, which is 5, and then we will divide that by 10 to the 6th. So that will give us 140 hertz. So plus or minus 140 hertz. And when I graphed it out over 14 hours, I ended up with this. Now, looks like a lot, but except the uh, unit of measurement is quite small. So this is 20 hertz. And the radio had been sitting on for an hour before this started logging. So we started here. Um, and we went down a little up, down, up, down, and we stayed within this 20 hertz uh, span, and it, at most 8 hertz plus or minus uh, the starting point. So it's definitely within 140 hertz or 5 ppm, and that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Um, it, it does what they say. Now, the test condition, of course, indoors, more or less temperature controlled room. It deviated in here maybe a degree or two centigrade. Um, these uh, spikes, uh, which are over at least an hour here and there, uh, that is the HVAC in the house turning on, turning off, and uh, the radio slowly responding to the change from that because I can account for these four blips here um, with uh, HVAC uh, turning on and turning off in the house. So it, it is sensitive, en sensitive enough to pick that up. And, um, you know, I um, just looked at the time frames here roughly versus um, when our, what our thermostats have logged for when the systems came on and off, uh, you know, turned on and turned off. And, uh, and they more or less line up. Um, there's definitely some lag here between the time, so it like turn on here or you know over here somewhere, and then it would slowly uh, react to that, um, which is expected. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I guess we can say that the um, AT6666 uh, meets the specifications uh, as they uh, are printed uh, in the owner's manual. So. I thought it was interesting. I thought you guys might too. So cheers till next time.